in the middle of the city. And you notice one thing missing these days, smokers. See, these days, if you want to find smokers, you've actually got to go hunting for them. And this is exactly the sort of place they've been relegated to. Back lanes, fire escapes, anywhere that's out of the way. And look at that, evidence. But you know what, I reckon if we found the person who smoked this, they'd tell us they wish they could quit. What happens to your body when you give up smoking? Meet Garant. He's 31 years old and has been smoking since he was 16. I used to be really involved with fitness. I used to be on cross-country team. I, was, I did professional swimming even for a bit as well. And now, I mean, I five lengths and I'm out of breath. He started smoking to fit in with the cool kids. Now he smokes at least half a pack every day. But he and his partner want to settle down and start a family. So his motivations for quitting run deep. It's just, it's definitely time. I'm getting older now. If I don't do it now, then when am I going to do it, I suppose? It's a tough gig, beating 16 years of addiction. But Geraint is determined. So the great news is, if you're ready to give up smoking, there are plenty of ways to go about it. Now, of course, there's cold turkey. It's probably the hardest of the lot, but it does work for some people. Otherwise, you can call the smoking helpline. There's meditation. There's also nicotine replacement therapies. That's patches and gums. Also, Nicorette have quick mist. Or you can try something that has worked for many, many people out there, hypnosis. Hello, how are you? Hey, great to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Come in, take a seat. Brilliant, cheers. Is a quit smoking hypnosis specialist. He himself was cured of addiction and anxiety by hypnosis some 10 years ago. He passionately believes in this therapy. People have all these positive associations to smoking, whether it be in the morning, getting up and having a coffee, um, it might be you know, going out and having a drink, being social, maybe stress relief, get a little bit worked up go out and have a cigarette and so they have these psychological associations and those are the things that we break down and we remove in the state of hypnosis so it's not just chemical it's the psychological things as well there's no pendulum here just music and words i'm going to count down from three to zero and if it works how long will it take for garant to recover from 16 years of cancer sticks so after just two hours of quitting smoking, your heart rate and blood pressure return to normal levels and the peripheral circulation begins to improve. After 12 hours, carbon monoxide levels decrease and blood oxygen levels return to near normal pre-smoking levels. Already the risk of heart attack has decreased. Let's check back in with Geraint. Deeper and deeper still. And if there are any stresses or strains... Any... He's well under, and with a success rate of 70% after just one session, things are looking up. At the 48-hour mark, both senses of smell and taste start to return as the nerve endings regrow. At 72 hours, nicotine levels start depleting. This is the time it's important to stay strong. But we all know how hard it is to quit. And at 31, Garant is approaching the danger zone. Often the cancer is already spread by the time we make the diagnosis. I'm speaking with Associate Professor Lou Irving from Royal Melbourne. He's about to show me lungs that have irreversible emphysema damage from years of smoking. Where there should be, all the air sacs are now great big holes. It looks like a mining site. If people have early emphysema, it really is a red flag that they must stop. Mm. And is it linked to cancer? This is linked to cancer. Smoking-related disease kills two out of every three long-term smokers. It is responsible for almost 90% of all drug-related deaths. So I'm hoping this hypnotherapy session will give Geraint the momentum he needs to finally quit. Now, at the nine-month mark, the lungs start to replace damaged cilia. Breathing improves, as does lung capacity, and this point is where the addiction to nicotine has gone. There he is. Hey, how's it going? How are you feeling? Good. It was a 
very different, very relaxed. Um, the music was amazing, and I just very I zoned out basically. Do you mind if we check in with you in two weeks' time? See how you're feeling. I like that. <laughs> okay. Good luck. I hope it goes well. Brilliant. All, All right, right, mate. Speak to you then. Thanks. Take care.